Welcome guys! In this tutorial I will show you how to create this swinging arm motion system for VR. It's a great motion system because you don't get motion sick and you kind of get a little bit of a workout at the same time. Uh, it's only one simple script and some extra components and I'm trying to keep this short so let's check it out. So this is my simple scene. It's only the OVR camera rig. Uh, there's some trees, a plane, and an empty game object, which I named Forward Direction. And I'll, I will explain a little bit more what this does. On the camera rig, I have one script, calling it Swinging Arm Motion. At the top of the script, I have a few game objects. We have the left hand, the right hand the center eye camera and the forward direction. Then we have a few vector free positions. The previous frame position of the left hand, the right hand and the player. Then the position this frame of the left hand, right hand and the player. We also have a speed variable and a hand speed variable. They're both floats, so decimal numbers. When the script starts, we set the current position, like this frame position of the player, the left hand and the right hand, to wherever they are positioned in the game. In the update function, every frame, first we get the center eye camera rotation and we set the forward direction object to this rotation. I will show you why. If you press play, You can see that the empty game object I created, calling it forward direction, moves in whatever direction I am looking. If we do not have this object and just try to move the player according to the center eye anchor, then we will move up and down as well. But we only want to move straight. And that's why we have this object tracking the forward direction of the, camera, uh, the center eye cam anchor center eye anchor then we set the position of the left hand the right hand and the player this frame to wherever the hand is the hands are and wherever the player object the OVR camera rig is and then we calculate the distance between this frame and the previous frame to get how far the player the left hand and the right hand has traveled between this frame and the previous frame and then we set the hand speed to the left hand distance moved plus the right hand distance moved now we also negate the player distance moved because if we do not do this we will have a bug and I will show you right now what happens You see, the player flew off this world space and hit the end of uh, wherever the player is allowed to even be. He exited the game completely. And this will happen every time. And that's because if we do not negate or subtract the player distance moved, the left hand distance, the, the player brings the left hand with him so every frame this number will just be greater and greater and the speed will increase and increase that's why we need to m subtract however far the player moved that way we only get how far the hands moved to get the total hand speed once we have the total hand speed all we have to do is set the transform.position plus equals forward direction transform forward so whatever is the forward of the forward direction object aka whichever way the player is looking times the hand speed this frame 
times the speed times time dot delta time. And last of all, we just set whatever position we had of the left hand, the right hand and the player in this frame to the previous frame. So next time the update function runs, we will have new previous frame values. And I did this because whenever the level starts, the game starts, game registers that the hands have moved whenever the game starts up. So that's why the first second I do not want to move the player. I want the player to settle in, hold the controllers properly and then we start moving whenever the hands are moving. And that is it. There's nothing more to this. You can just copy this script and do what I have done and this should work. If it for some reason does not work, ask me in the comment section and I will answer. Otherwise, if you just want to download this and use this straight away, you can join Patreon, download this project and start building your game straight in here. This, is a, this will be a great component to the zombie game so that you can run away from the zombies and move around. Uh, so yeah, that's it. That's it, I think. Uh, like and subscribe and uh, support me on Patreon.